When you think of the greatest names in German football, who comes into your head? Franz Beckenbauer, of course. He's a really nice guy. With one fault, he's a Bayern Munich fan. <laughs> it requires a rare talent to captivate a sport which takes itself Jupp Heynckes. rather seriously. Jürgen Klopp. <laughs> if you are positive, do different things. Work for money, do what you have to do. But if you play football, if you watch football, you have to enjoy what you do. That's it. It's only a game. I have to speak English to you. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> we always say he's, he's uh, the perfect and best coach uh, Borussia Dortmund could get yeah, in the whole world. Kloppo. Michael Zork was a European Cup winner in 1997, Dortmund's greatest moment, which triggered their darkest decade. In easy words, we spent too much money. They said the last rites somehow survived and then vowed to return the club to the people. <laughs> An aspiring coach and part-time pundit fitted the new manifesto. Time goes by. What the club was looking for was a positive signal who can, and in, in Germany this is my image. <laughs> <laughs> We always trust him and he always trusts us and um, I think that's really important in such a relationship. He's a perfect football teacher. When are you at your best? Oh, before a game. Let's go! During a game, I don't know. After a game, I'm brilliant. Yes, we will come. See you in Wembley. Handle other people like you want to be handled by them. I'm Christian, so that's, that's normal. If you come in a room, all have to feel better and not have to feel worse. He's a coach who can give every people a new motivation and a new idea of living. The cult of Kloppo has restored football the religion to Dortmund. He's Europe's most refreshing presence since the young Jose, without the dark agenda. What is the one quality a Jurgen Klopp team must have? Character. Character, mentality, not to be satisfied with small steps. He has a clear vision how his team has to play. But I told them that we have to, to change a little bit our, our thinking. If we want to play in this stadium, we have to play a special kind of football. In each pub, they would say, they can lose, but they have to fight. And we live this. We live this. Hunger and humility has been a potent mix. This was before the hair transplantation. <laughs> Look at this. That's the reason. Now for Beckenbauer's club and a Bayern team who've mastered many things, except the biggest occasion. Are they chokers? We will see. Before the game, I'm sure they all say, no, it's, it makes us more focused and so on, but in the game it's our job to bring them in situations where they have to think <laughs> about this. You have to sell some of your best players. One. Can you keep your manager? 100%. <laughs> we all respect the success of Bayern Munich, really. But I think there are some people who think, but it's enough. There have been a, a small space for teams like us and as a team was not afraid and had not too much respect and they are brave enough to try it and that was my team <laughs>